If you're looking for a way to get more eggs from your chickens, especially in the winter time, this is the video for you. Let me show you how I doubled my egg production this winter. So the first thing I did was come in here and clean up their pen. They really like a clean pen. I've got a best nest box, but if you have nest boxes with hay or shavings in it, then make sure they're clean, no poop, uh, old bedding is out, old uh, hay is out, and just give them a good clean place to lay their eggs. And also in the floor, I gave them uh, two of those uh, bales of pine shavings. I should have put probably four in here. It's starting to get a little thin. That was a few weeks ago. It's starting to get a little thin in places, but that is uh, one thing that they really like is a clean house. I came in here with the power washer and washed all the walls. First time I've ever done that and it was really, really nasty. So that helps new bedding. If you've got nest boxes that, that, that use bedding and uh, hay and such, then make sure that's new. That will help some, that will help quite a bit. But let me show you what I did to bump them up in their egg production. So I think it was last year I installed this light. This is just an LED light, doesn't use hardly any power, probably, I don't know, 25 watts, 50 watts maybe, I doubt it. And just put it up above where they roost. They roost on that uh, pallet right there. And that's just a good place for them to roost. And I've had that pallet up there for years, got a video on that. Using a pallet for a roost, they seem to really enjoy it. Most of them stay up there during the night. But I put the light up there last year, year before, something like that. And it made a big difference then. I just now have turned it on and it has made a huge difference. Let me tell you exactly what it's done when I uh, turned it on, but let me show you also how it is installed. So again, it's just above their roost. It can be, it doesn't have to be above their roost. It can be on the backside where it just lights up the, the whole uh, pen here, the whole hen house. It can be in front of them. They would probably face this direction. East is that way. So when the sun comes up, they don't get any sun for quite a while because that back wall is facing east. So the light really helps them a lot. The sun is setting now and that's west now are starting to set. So I could put the light right here. I could put the, put the light behind them. I don't know why, but I chose to put it above them. And I've got a timer on it. So I've got two timers over here. One of them is for the hot wire that surrounds my pen. I've got a video on that. I probably will do another one soon just to show you how to, to uh, predator proof your hen house. But here's the timer I use, uh, just a very cheap uh, manual timer. You plug it in, you set the little doodads on it uh, to when to come on, very easy. Uh, to learn and, and just easy to do. Uh, one thing you have to have is an adapter here. The timer coming off the timer is only two prong. This light is a three prong. So I had to have the two prong to three prong uh, adapter there. I've got it coming on at about five in the morning and it gets light, you know, pretty light around 6.30 or seven. But there again, since the east wall doesn't get any sun, any morning early, sunrise sun uh this is the only sun they get for till probably eight o'clock or so till they get out of their pen and start start rummaging around so anyway i turn it on it, i have it coming on set to come on at five and to go off at i think 7 30 or 8 and here's what it looks like i'll go ahead and it's got a manual switch on it and i'll put a link to these timers i really like these timers they're just as simple as they can be and i think yeah, both of them are the same. Uh, just as simple as they can be and just easy to use. And again, just cheap, cheap, cheap. So hang a light. It can be a light bulb. Does not have to be a, uh, a four foot shop light. Now I have got in those, those bulbs up there are what's called daylight. So they mimic daylight and it seems to work pretty well. Anyway, so here's the uh, on off. Uh, one of them is auto, the other one is off, the other one is on. So I can turn it on manually and I'll do that right now for you. 
and it comes on and that's what it looks like at five o'clock in the morning at my place right there is that light coming on and it gives them about two hours of quote sunlight unquote um and that's why chickens fall off production in the winter time winter time starts getting dark you know around um well, the, the shortest day of the year is December 20th, I think, or 21st. And um, up until that point, it's just steadily getting uh, shorter and shorter days, less and less sunlight. Chickens have to have sunlight to lay eggs. That's just something. If they don't have a lot of sunlight, then they uh, your egg production will suffer. So give them the sunlight they need. And this is one way to do it is like this. So right now I'll come back and turn it off to or turn it on auto. That's the timer on. And you can turn it where the outlet is on, which I just did turn on the light, but the timer's on right there. So it'll come on at five in the morning. First morning I did it, I was getting, I was getting one, maybe two eggs a day. First morning I put it up there. Um, that day I got that day or the next day, I really can't remember. I got seven eggs out of 10 chickens, 10 hens. So seven eggs. Now, as it is since then, I'm getting anywhere from uh, four to seven, four or five, usually four, uh, five to seven eggs uh, a day. And uh, out of 10 chickens. And that's not bad in the wintertime. Again, before that, I was getting one egg a day, maybe two, sometimes zero. So a big difference. I started getting one or two eggs when I cleaned out their pen. That made a big difference. But when I did this, I am starting to fill up some egg cartons now. And that's what you want. You don't want to feel, I know some of you say they're your pets and you don't want to, you don't want to interrupt their nighttime beauty rest or whatever, but that they're not my pets. They're, they're farm animals. They're here to produce and that's why I have them is for production and I have someone that buys all my eggs everything I can produce and everything that I don't eat and I don't enjoy feeding something that's not going to produce for me so that's why I do it and this will give you more production a lot on a timer and you will see your egg production in the winter time rise in the summertime it's really not that necessary if at all uh, because there's so much sunlight uh, so much daylight in the summertime, so much more than you have in the wintertime. But this will give you more production in the wintertime. That's what you want. You're still going to feed them all winter long, and you're not going to get nothing out of them. That's not the way I want to roll. So here they are. Light, timer, and be done with it. They'll give you more eggs. I can almost guarantee you. All right. We're gone. <laughs>